in this session we will derive expressions for discharge work done and power required to drive a single acting reciprocating pump the basic dimensions of the reciprocating pump will consider let capital D is the diameter of the cylinder or the piston and you can find the cross sectional area of the piston or cylinder by using pi by 4 d square let small r be the crank radius capital N the rotational speed of the crank in rpm capital L is the stroke length which is equal to twice the crank radius and hs is the suction head and hd is the delivery head expression for discharge is a simple one we will denote the discharge by the letter q as you know the discharge is uh, the volume of liquid delivered by the pump every second so this is uh, the volume delivered the quantity delivered per second volume delivered per second you can say volume volume flow per second volume flow rate and that is essentially the displacement volume is area of the cylinder multiplied by the length of the cylinder that is L into A pi by 4 D square into L that is the volume per stroke and then multiplied by number of delivery stroke per second number of delivery stroke per second for a single acting reciprocating pump is N by 60 N is the revolution per minute so number of delivery stroke per second is n by 60 so it is simply la n by 60 simply the volume of uh, water delivered out per second multiplied by number of deliver number of delivery stroke per second see once you do this you will get the discharge in meter cube per second and for a double acting pump it is approximately twice this expression but if you consider the area of cross section of the piston road then for uh, double acting the expression will be slightly different for one one side for double acting this q will be on one side it is uh, la n by 60 and but the other side it will be l into that area of uh, the piston road has to be deducted from the cross-sectional area of the piston total cross-sectional area of the piston then into n by 60 so this is the expression so if you ignore if you ignore the cross-sectional area of the piston road that is a small a then you can write you can get ln by 60 plus ln by 60 so it is approximately 2 l a and 2 lan by 60 this is for a double acting so obviously this is the theoretical discharge if the actual discharge of the pump is q actual q actual there will be q actual may not be same as q theoretical and what normally we expect is q actual to be less than q theoretical in that case we introduce a term called the slip which is uh, essentially q theoretical minus uh, q actual and usually we express the slip as a percentage so percentage slip will be equal to this q theoretical minus q actual q actual divided by q theoretical q theoretical into 100 for expressing it in percentage and this is also written as q actual by q theoretical you know it is cd coefficient of discharge even you can write this as uh, once you distribute the denominator you can write this as 1 minus q actual by q theoretical which is uh, coefficient of discharge multiplied by 100 